In today's video, I'll be walking you through some of the most effective methods to fix ping spikes and packet loss in any online game. If you've been struggling with sudden lag, rubber banding, or inconsistent connection issues during your gameplay, you've come to the right place. I'll not only show you how to stabilize your connection, but also give you some tips to lower your base ping overall. Make sure to watch the entire video, don't skip around, because a lot of the tweaks I'll show you are crucial, and skipping them might mean missing out on something that could drastically improve your online gaming experience. Before you dive into changing settings or applying tweaks, you need to understand that sometimes ping spikes and packet loss aren't caused by your PC or router at all. It could actually be an issue with the game servers or your ISP, internet service provider. You see, your network traffic doesn't go directly from your PC to the game server. Instead, it gets routed through multiple hops or nodes, often referred to as hot points. If one of these hot points is unstable, overloaded, or misconfigured, you might experience spikes or dropped packets, even if your own system is perfectly optimized. This is especially common if you're in a region far from the game server. The farther the distance, the more network nodes your traffic has to pass through, and each of these is a potential failure point. Tweak number one, prioritize game traffic with DSCP values. One of the best ways to reduce ping is to prioritize your game's network packets using DSCP values. First, open control panel. Go to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. Click your active connection, Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and select Properties. Uncheck everything except Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, QoS Packet Scheduler. Now, press Windows key plus R, type in gpedit.msc and hit enter to open the group policy editor. In group policy editor, navigate to computer configuration, Windows settings, policy-based QoS. Right-click it and choose advanced QoS settings. Go to the DSCP marking override tab. Check the box and select ignored. Then click OK. Now, let's create a new QoS policy. Right-click Policy-Based QoS again and click Create New Policy. Name it after your game, like Game Name QoS. Set the DSCP value to 46, recommended for gaming. Select Only Applications with this executable name. Launch your game and open Task Manager. Expand it. Right-click the game and choose Open File Location. Copy the .exe file name of the game and paste it into the QoS wizard. Click Next. Then check both TCP and UDP and Finish. Boom! Your game traffic is now prioritized by Windows. Tweak number two, optimize network interrupt handling via MSI utility. Sometimes, your network card doesn't properly handle interrupts, leading to input lag or packet delays. Let's fix that using MSI utility. Download MSI utility from the link below. Run it as administrator. Find your network adapter, e.g. Realtek or Intel. Check the box under MSI set interrupt priority to undefined or try normal if you want to experiment. Set the MSI limit to 256 for your network card. Click apply and then close the app. This ensures your network adapter handles traffic more efficiently without bottlenecks. Windows loves to power down your network hardware to save energy, which can mess with your connection. Here's how to stop that automatically. Head to the link below and download the PowerShell Network Tweaker tool. Copy the path where the PowerShell file is stored. Open PowerShell as an admin, type C, D, then the path you did copy. Then just type the name of the file. If you get this error, just copy this command from below the video, then run the file again. The script will show you a list of your active network adapters. Just enter the number next to the one you're using. It'll automatically disable things like receive segment coalescing, packet coalescing filter, energy-efficient Ethernet interrupt moderation, low-power idle. Once it's done, 
just restart your PC to apply all the changes. That's it for today's video. These tweaks and tools are some of the most effective ways to fix ping spikes and packet loss in competitive games. Whether you're grinding ranked or just want a smoother experience, applying these changes can go a long way. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other tutorials or optimization guides you want to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.